Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of The Hunger Games Adventures, episode 2, Ken Flegaliki. In this episode, we're going to be doing some more gaming of The Hunger Games Adventures, so let's get on to it straight away. I've already loaded the game, so yeah, because I don't want to waste time loading the game, it takes a little while sometimes. And I've got some more friends on the bottom, and I'm waiting for some more to accept them. I've got, actually got some people I didn't know that actually played it, so I might get on my other account and get them added too. So yeah, I hope to see you then, and let's get into the game. And also, just to let you know, you may have noticed that the timing hasn't changed, I believe, and it's been released on different days. This is just because that I stockpile these videos, so that in case I am not able to make them, I can still put them out. Otherwise, it's just not really worth it to it. Okay, ready? Here we are, here am I, and I got that back to full energy. Let's do some stuff, what we're supposed to do, Katniss everything, because I don't want, because I know... You guys don't want to watch me clearing up rocks and trees and all that sort of stuff. Because I know, and you know, we all know that that is boring. So, let's get on to awkward trades. I'm going to take some game meat from Katniss at the bakery and bring the meat to Peter at the bakery. Of course, here we are in the map of Hainem. With all the other things hidden, but they're not there. So, we know where all the districts are. We know where District 4 is, and we know all that other stuff. So, why well, they got all the games done. Anyway, um, so let's get on to it, shall we? We've got to talk to Katniss Everdeen, don't we? So let's click to get meat from Katniss Everdeen, and then click to give it to Peter. It's getting read, so we can click to give it to Peter. Okay, see, so I need that, it tells you that, you can do it. According to capital law, we shouldn't be hunting even going outside the fence. Be discreet. Hey, what? Where's Cat? Um, I mean, thanks for the meat. I just like reading it out because I just like going to back in school. Not that I have many, but you know, you guys, you know. Never know what might be around the corner. <sighs> yeah, so a new crest can click on that. Help yourself to some loaves of bread from the cart. My family really appreciates what Katniss brings us. Okay, how about I take the whole damn car? Hit to grab bread loaf. I don't think so, man. You gotta take a whole thing. Anyway, there you go. Those should still be warm. Thank you so much, Mr. Black. Now you gotta get the bread to Katniss at the bakery. Click to give a bread. <gasps> I'm giving a bread. I'm giving the girl on fire bread. Jokes. Let's go continue. Hopefully she doesn't burn it, because she's on fire. At least he can give you burnt loaves. And of course, that is a bit of a link to something else going on that you guys will know. Don't worry about it. Anyway. Distracting measures. Peacekeepers maintain the rule of the capital in new di in the districts. Owls are usually tame, but this one's new and may not overlook my game training. Pick up two rocks from the rocky patch of the bakery and throw the rocks to distract the peacekeeper at the bakery. So you guys think I can remember that? I don't think I will, but I'll try to remember that. So I could pick up two pick ups. <gasps> Rock disappeared. <laughs> and you gotta click to distract, so it's clicking twice, it costs two energy. Okay, you need a rock, so continue. Clicking it again, because it restarts when it does that. Ah, what was that? Bullseye! Better investigate. Got him. <gasps> Level 2! Fire burns brighter in the darkness. Which means, when you gain up a level, you unlock new content sometimes. And you also, um, your max energy would go up a level. So, if you were on max energy 15, it would go up to 16 and things like that. So, yeah, it is actually very fun. I've got some of my friends on this game too, so, yeah. I'm a lumberjack! I'm sure you are, Kana17. I'm sure you are. Girls can dream big. So can boys. The new chapter. Looks like you've got plenty to build a strong shelter. Time to start putting it together. So I'm gonna go to my forest escape and put together my shelter. Which is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, but first I'm going to clear these up, because I just want to do that. Looks like 
Okay, guys, let's settle some. And while when that happens, I'm going to buy a shelter. Well, so when you gain levels, you get different things like apple trees and orange trees and arrow crafts and tables. A lot of that stuff will say we locked by a quest, and when the quest comes up to it, it'll say maybe locked by level. But usually, if you level up with the quest, you won't come to that. I haven't come to that, so. Hopefully, you guys won't come to that. So, we can just game and continue. Well, not the game, but the, you know what I mean, guys. And when you say finishing, sometimes you have to get the materials, sometimes you already have them. So, yeah. And as you can see, we've got two quests there now. You see, one of the quests is to rest. Okay, that was a quest on that. And I'm going to click up some rocks and clear my forest escape because I'm bored. Well, I'm not bored. I just like when I get enough money, I am going to. Like, I will show you guys my other forest escape when I run out of energy. But my other forest escape I have set up really fancy and nice and it's, it's cool. I had a lot of fun making it. But it did cost a lot of the coins up here. So that wasn't too fun, but you, after a while you get a lot of them, so it doesn't really matter. The shelter looks great, but you could use some flowers to lighten up the area, don't you think? Plant some gold marigolds. So plant two marigolds at your forest escape. I wonder why people had that in their forest escapes. So to do that, you just go into the store. And you go under decorations, and you get some yellow marigolds. For my one, you'll see later, it's purple marigolds. Because I just like purple, it's my favourite colour, so you will know. Anyway, new quest, plant two, so i got to plant another one. Uh, maybe I'll decorate the trap so people don't see it. Or rather, the animals don't see it, but anyway. Um, but there. Yeah, they can dye flowers around them. I'm going to move that one, though. I want it to be close to the can. Golden touch quest complete. Bird of a feather, flock together. Need to bring some game back to town. Let's meet up with Gale and hunt together. That'll get us more to trade. So, of course, we're in chapter one, learn to survive. Meet Gale at the woods. Whatever you say, Miss Higgins. You know what, guys? You all want to see Gale, so we're going to wait for it to load. And that is Gale, guys. You had just met Gale in the Hunger Games Adventures. I hope you enjoyed that. But we're not going to go on to this quest, because we're going to go to Luke's Forest Escape, which is me. My own Facebook account, Forest Escape. And we are going to discover... Once it loads my forest escape. So this is what I've done with my forest escape. I have done a lot of it and you can help out with your forest escape too. So you can like help them out and if you help them out five things then you get two energy which is helps you out a lot. So this is my forest escape. See how fancy and schmancy it is. This actually costs a lot because each of those red trees costs 500 coins each. And the purple marrow gold only costs about 50 each. But, um, yeah, and I've flocked it out for everything. It's all set up nice and neat because I liked it that way. And I cut down all the trees I can when I'm here. So, that is fun. That is all. And, yeah, so guys, that is all I have time for today. We get one last look at Gale. Before I go back to my forest escape, that's Gale. Not your forest escape. Wrong forest escape. My forest escape. I meant my Legaluki forest escape. Just gonna load in about 10 hours. <sighs> maybe I'll sneak in some gameplay as I get this part, but maybe not. Because otherwise you guys will get a bit bored. And like, how do I get from here to here? You miss out on the storyline. Who wants to do that? So I'm gonna back to my one. My Legaluki account. Because I created a Facebook account just for Lego Wiki, so I could play the Hunger Games Adventures from the start, so you guys could all have a look at it. So here it is, back in my Forest Escape, and that's all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm just gonna get clear of my Forest Escape. You guys have to see this anyway. And of course, when you log in, 
but what the, you already have 25 Mockingjay pins, which is the, um, Mockingjay pins used to be what you got when you completed a quest, and when you got two of them and some coins, you could buy extra areas around your forest escape. That's how I expanded my forest escape. But of course, they changed that recently in update, and that used to, what used to, what that got, Mockingjay pin used to be was a Facebook credit. So you'd buy energy and extra stuff that if you don't even want to wait for it, you'd buy that straight away. You could buy that with Facebook credits. With the Mockingjay pin, they auto they updated it so that the Mockingjay pin, for the, to buy 20, it is the same as Facebook credits, but to buy any more than that, it works out cheaper, the increments and how they do that. So, um, but as soon as you log in, because they updated it, they automatically give you 25 Mockingjay pins, and you only need 24 Mockingjay pins to get a full refill, but I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll say that for later on when I have like 60 or, I'm really in a rush and I want to get something done for you guys because I'm in a rut. Okay guys, so that's all I have time for today. I guess I will see you another time, and I hope we meet again one day, because I really want to meet you guys, so, yeah. That is all we have time for today. I hope to see you next time. That's all we have time for. See you later, guys. Goodbye.